Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 5. Today we've got a bunch of things to talk about, and so I'm sorry that I haven't uploaded in a few days' time, but today there should be a double upload, so just to, you know, give it back to you guys because I haven't uploaded in like three days, which is pretty bad, but I was away, so I'm finally back, and we've got this video to talk about. Okay, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so it's, you know, September 8th right now, we should be expecting some first look footage that is obviously not from Comic Con, very, very soon in the next, you know, week or so, so get ready for that, very exciting stuff. I'm surprised they haven't dropped anything by now, because, you know, the last few years they've released some DC TV promos where they show us some new looks and things like that, but they've been releasing photos over the last few days for Supergirl, The Flash, Arrow, and not really Legends, but Batwoman, and things like that. So, they are sort of amping up to those trailers and those promos, but today we're going to be talking about a bunch of different things, we'll go through it one by one, and we'll talk about them. Okay, so the first thing is, talking about Crisis and what's coming, we know that in the original timeline and you know, we sort of suppose that after Crisis, Barry runs back, he goes, and that's what happens with Reverse Flash and him fighting in the past to save and obviously to let Nora die in some instances. And so I think that suit is coming very soon. And obviously they don't have to copy that, the timeline's changed, so the suit doesn't need to look the same. But someone on Reddit posted this photo right here they edited the new flash suit and they made it look kind of like the suit from the newspaper you know the one that we've been seeing you know for many years so it's very similar and if you look at the real suit right now and you know how close it is it's actually pretty damn close to that suit that you see in a newspaper although it's not as gold you know in the newspaper the so sort of gold elements of the suit are really amped up, but that's because it is photoshopped. But, I mean, the mask is pretty much the same. He's got the chin strap back. The chin strap's very much in that same sort of vein. But obviously, the major difference is the stripes all along and the earpiece as well, because the earpiece has changed. But like I said, the timeline's changed, so it doesn't have to be the same. But it's pretty damn close, if you ask me to be getting kind of close to what that suit is. So will we see this original timeline Barry actually appear in Crisis? I think it's a high possibility that our version of Barry will be doing this run back in time and with the timeline changes, maybe he has a slight alteration in suit when he goes back and it's this new version of the suit, but it's pretty damn close in my opinion. So. Lots of stuff to be excited about to do with Crisis. We've had lots of teasers recently. They'll be talking about it some more as we head towards Crisis and we get our first looks and things like that. That shouldn't be too long away, actually, so that's very exciting as well. So going off of the TV Line article that they posted recently, they were able to talk to Eric Wallace, the new showrunner of The Flash, and there's a few quotes that haven't gone over in the past. So they say, the first few episodes of the season is very much a story of how can we prevent this how can we you know prevent crisis and you know it's going to be a heavy focus right at the start so that's very exciting to see because you know the flash missing vanishing in crisis i believe from the photos that we've seen they're gonna see that crisis has been fast tracked to 2019 in episode one i'm fairly certain so the notion of how they can prevent this fast track crisis in 2019 is going to be a heavy focus and then obviously it will go into a bit more of you know the stories to do with blood work but it's still going to be heavily linked to crisis and how can they stop it and we know the monitors showing up so lots of exciting stuff coming up on the flash this year okay so let's move on to talk about this so marina baccarin who actually plays gideon on the show but she only does the voice work um, most of you will probably know her from Gotham or Deadpool, but yeah, so she plays Gideon on the Flash TV show and she posted this tweet the other day saying, rolling in my jammies to do the Flash voiceover in a Flash. And so this is a teaser for more Gideon and I think we may get the sort of resolution we've all been hoping for that 
maybe Barry makes Gideon this season because it all sort of loops back around to, you know, Gideon appearing with Reverse Flash and so on. So, you know, going back because it's all to do with Crisis, Gideon's heavily to do with Crisis. She's known about this all the time, she updates it and things like that. So, I feel like Gideon's going to be in this season a lot more. Very exciting to see her obviously get back in the voice booth and so I do believe she's going to be around a bit more and maybe we get that resolution of when does Barry create Gideon and you know how is it all going to link around to everything that has been teased in the past with Gideon okay so let's move on to talk about the next thing and so the next thing is actually from Paigey Obviously, this is from his own source. I would say definitely check out his video. I'm not going to be going into super depth. He goes into a lot of depth in his video, but I'm just going to mention it in this video because according to a source who reached out to Pagey, John Wesley's ship is going to be returning to the Flash, which is very, very exciting, and he's supposedly going to return for the Flash, you know, in Season 6, but also in Crisis. So... Pagey theorized about what versions could come. Obviously, there's two main versions, the Earth-90 Flash that we saw last year in the crossover, who just disappeared out of nowhere. I reckon he's going to come back. And obviously, we have Jay Garrick, who is currently on Earth-3, and he's obviously going to be affected by Crisis when Crisis happens, because if you know the comics, if you know Crisis on Infinite Earths, you know that lots of Earths get merged together, lots of Earths get destroyed, and you know nothing's ever the same anymore so his earth will be affected so you know it makes logical sense that he's going to show up at some point so it seems like according to Paige's sources John Wesley's ship is going to return in the flash but also in crisis so I reckon in crisis he'll be playing the earth 90 flash and maybe his other version of the flash but I would suspect the earth 90 flash to return for that and if it's just on a flash, I would say more likely than not, it's going to be normal Jay Garrick from Earth 3 who's going to show up and be around, you know, to help out Team Flash. So, I'm very excited for this because, you know, last time we saw him was in the crossover. We haven't seen Jay Garrick in a long while, but, you know, we saw the Earth 90 version of himself, which is Barry Allen. And maybe we would get some more stuff to do with Green Lantern because he teased that last year when he dropped that line out of nowhere and everyone sort of freaked out. So, now let's move on to talk about a few other things before we end this video. So, Mark Guggenheim has been teasing the crossover for a long time and he sent out this tweet the other day saying, Heads up, John Cryer, Marv Wolfman wrote some killer dialogue for you. Hashtag Crisis on Infinite Earth. So, if you don't know who Marv Wolfman is, he's a comic book writer and what he's teasing is at comic con we got the confirmation that john cryer would return as lex luthor in supergirl but they didn't say crisis so it seems like 100 percent yeah john is back for crisis on infinite earths not sure about any other episodes of supergirl but he will definitely be in crisis as lex luthor and he highlighted he's got some killer dialogue for you so he's going to be killing some people most likely more than not but what side is he going to be on? I think he's going to be sort of an anti-hero, always in the comics and in, you know, the films, the animated films and so on. Lex always protects the Earth because he wants to rule the Earth, remember? He doesn't want to destroy the Earth like, say, Doomsday or, you know, the Anti-Monitor or anyone like that. So he will protect it and then go back to his sort of devious roots to take over the Earth but not destroy it. So that's very exciting. Seems like John's going to be, you know, at least featured quite a bit in the crossover, which is very exciting. Okay, so Stephen Amell posted this tweet about four days ago. He said, read the synopsis of Crisis on Infinite Earths earlier today. Holy fucking shit. Very exciting, just a little tease, but, you know, that's all we need right now because we're just sort of waiting to get our first looks, to get our, you know, little pieces of information and then slowly... You know the trailer will come out and yeah so I'm very excited for all of this let me know if you are in the comments down below so thank you guys so much for watching please be sure to leave a like and a comment subscribe turn on notifications to not miss any videos and I'll see you guys later goodbye
I see red.